four degrees downtown will cool off as we go throughout the evening, but it is just a tad bit humid out there that dew point in the 60s. So overall, it was a beautiful day for the last Friday of the decade, but definitely on the warmer side. But if you like the warmer weather, you'll definitely like this entire weekend across the area. We're pretty much sitting in the 70s to upper 60s for the moment. 72 in Richmond Hill, 66 in Hinesville and Alma at 71. So we're on the mild side right now. If you do plan on going out for dinner, you can definitely leave the jacket at home. You won't be needing it. Now over the next 12 hours, we'll slowly start to cool off, but not by much. By 1 a.m., 59 degrees, we do start to see some fog develop overnight tonight, lasting until the morning hours by 4 a.m. We'll hit our low of 58 degrees and then by 7 waking up for your Saturday morning we will already be in the 60s at 61 degrees and there's a tiny chance for some rain by 7 a.m. But mostly cloudy skies to start off the day. Storm tracker radar showing a few sprinkles out there. Some areas felt a little bit of rain, but we stay dry for the most part. And we'll stay dry through tonight as well, but that'll change going into Saturday. Saturday does have a 30% chance of rain. Sunday has a 50% chance of rain along a cold Cold front that'll bring us some showers lingering into Monday at 40%. Now this won't be a total washout, but have the umbrella on standby. You'll definitely need it through the next few days. But for New Year's Eve, we will be clear and dry and have a 0% chance of rain. So let's go ahead and time out those showers for your Saturday for tonight. We're sticking with mostly cloudy skies, but we are staying dry. If you have evening plans, you should be good to go. Now as we move overnight into your Saturday morning by 6 a.m., some fog still in the forecast, mostly cloudy skies. We start to see showers develop by a 11 a.m. that will be south of I-16 pushing towards the low country as we move throughout the evening. Now will we, we will be on the dry side as we move into Tuesday of next week and the holidays are not over just yet. So here's your holiday forecast going into New Year's to on Tuesday for New Year's Eve. It's looking fairly dry. It will be on the cooler side, 62 degrees for that high temperature. Now on New Year's Eve, if you do plan on going out, we will be on the chilly side. You need an extra layer, 44 degrees against staying dry. No more rain in the forecast by Tuesday and on New Year's Day, clouds do return. We'll stick with mostly cloudy skies, but we will be on the mild side at 62. So once that cold front comes through on Monday, we're going to be in the 60s for that high temperature. Now your certified most accurate forecast for the next few days. Saturday has a high of 76 degrees. That is above average. Even warmer on Sunday. We'll be near 80 degrees by Sunday. We do have that 50% chance of rain sticking to the 70s by Monday. And then that cold front comes through on Tuesday once again. We'll drop to the 60s, 62 degrees. We start to see more sunshine by Tuesday for New Year's Day, 62 once again. And that sunshine sticks with us through the rest of the week. So if you'd like to stay updated on the forecast, go ahead and download the WJCL 22 News app. It's free and